Okay, here we go. I feel like I'm in a, I feel like I'm in a casino. You know where they, <laughs> you spin the, everybody ready? Have you got their money down? Here we go. This, this song is an example of taking three chords and having a whole composition that sounds like it's going places when it not really is, not musically anyway. If anybody can play three chords, they can play this song. And it's nice when that happens. And it's one of the things you learn as a songwriter that you can change, you could have the, the cake, but it's the icing that changes, it's the ear candy, there's always some little twist on those chords. Here is exactly the same as verse, it's identical. I just changed the melody, added a Celeste, which is a keyboard, and then I bring it down to a really rock feel. Same chords, nothing's changed, rest. Same chords, and again. And of course, it's cowbell, and you can't have too much cowbells. Will Ferrell told us on Saturday Night Live, so the cowbell is wonderful. I still really like the cowbell, actually. It's something about it that's uh, rock solid somehow. And of course, when you're recording cowbell, a lot of things determine if it works. And one is having the right cowbell, because they can sound pretty horrific if you have the wrong one, especially if there's a cow attached to it. But anyway, no, uh, and then you got to play them. There's no sampling, man. You got to be on your mark. You got to be, on, you know, in the moment, and you got to have it mic'd right. And you got all these things to make it sound good, and not like a, some kind of annoying noise in the background. So it's cool. But yeah, and and the funny thing is about the song is one of our most popular songs. I mean, I still do this song. We still do this song. Or I'll do it in my solo show, and the whole place erupts. They know all the words, they sing along, they're just having a great old time. So I have, I have fondness for this, and little modulation, otherwise the same progression. Um, no, I, I, this album, you know, this song still stands the test of time. People just really like it. I do the songwriter circle with Bruce Gusler, with Matt Anderson and Matt Minglewood and other people. We all sit around and, and we sing and we tell stories and we sing our songs and typically at the, in Halifax Casino at the, in the Schooner Room, wonderful venue, it's been going on for years. It's a pleasure to work with these gentlemen. And when we do this song, it becomes the closer for the show because everybody starts singing and dancing. And so, the uh, song works. Worked then, it works now. It's amazing how people can identify with the song for a long time and still hold it, you know, dear. So it's cool. And it's so juvenile. 